Hey folks, welcome back to Sarah Plays a Scary Thing. Again, we're taking a little break from Outlast this week. Going back to revisit a game that we got on Early Access back by around Halloween called Paranormal. There have been some updates. I haven't touched it since then, but uh, apparently it's added some stuff. So we're going to go ahead and go with the full it's version. Uh, Friday, July 1st, 2011. Hello. My name is Mattel Clark. I'm an artist, and I've come to believe that my house is haunted. <laughs> Lately, that's it. That's have the game. Going bump in the night, and that's also the game. A lot. Mm -hmm. So, I've set up cameras around my studio, and I've got one here, and I've started recording things to try and prove to people that I'm not going crazy. <laughs> this is the studio. Um, this is where the magic happens. Uh, don't mind the posing mannequins. I pick those up at Amazon. And they, they help me move all around the house of their own the accord. There's some works in progress over there on the mat. Uh, hopefully, something will happen here in a second. I'm really trying to show that this is real and that I'm not trying to get famous on the internet. <laughs> and I should be getting control back here shortly. Hello, mannequins. These things are everywhere. Can I knock them down? No. Let's see. I think some stuff has been added. Some random keys here. I oh, can't can't do anything about those. Okay. Now, last time I played, um, the mannequins decided to hold a little demon sacrifice here in the living room. And I died a little prematurely. June 27th, 1983. Marcus came home from work today seeming really flustered. When I asked what was wrong, he yelled at me and threw the bird's cage to the floor. <laughs> what was our first Don't throw together? your bird. July 1st, 1983. I don't understand why Marcus has been so stressed lately. I know being a teacher is tough. But the least he could do is talk to me about it so I can... Probably a science teacher in Texas. July 4th, 1983. Fireworks are going off. Marcus hasn't returned home from work yet. And we're going to go watch the fireworks together. Another lonely night at home. Just me <sighs> and all the money I can That find. sounds like a hot date to me. July 5th, 1983. I got the call today. The police found Marcus dead in his own classroom. I have trouble even thinking about this. It hasn't even fully sunk in yet. So uh, someone's knocking. My husband is gone forever, and I never got to say goodbye. Huh. Okay. I just heard someone knock at the... Ah. I, was that mannequin there? I don't think it was. Hello? Why are you standing in front of the door? Being creepy? Here's another letter here. July 4th, 1984. I hear the fireworks outside. As the people likely stare and wonder, I loathe them. Loud, bright, and pointless. Is my anger a product more of Marcus, or do I truly feel this way? He's been gone for a whole year today. I miss him so much. Mm-hmm. July 6th, 1984. I must be imagining things. I was awoken by Marcus's voice today. I must be going um. insane. Hello? Hello? Okay. Rag on the floor, okay. How's my battery holding up? Pretty well, pretty well. What the shit? Okay. That's one of uh, Mattel's works in progress, I would think. Alright, studio floor. Let's check the kitchen. Anything good in here?
Random plate. Oh, there's my phone. Can I have my phone? No. I can't have my phone. Dishes. Random groceries. Banana. Banana? Hello? Anything good in the fridge? Nope. Okay. Have some coffee? No. At the basement. To do, finish Atlas, fix basement lock, fix screen door jam, clean carpet, groceries away, take a bath, Google home history, trash dog food, watch TV, sleep the day away, sleep the day away, sleep the fucking day away. Um, hmm. I don't remember that. Oh. Batteries are getting low. Now I better charge it when I go to bed tonight. Okay, I don't have that combination. So, I need to uh, head upstairs soon. I've got some time. There's one of the uh, many cameras I have hidden about the house there, I guess. The study. Nothing particularly interesting here. It's got a nice place. Very, uh, very artsy. the bedroom, but nothing ever happened there. What a crime. Fish. There's a, yeah, this is real smart. Ouija board. Hello? Oh, shit. Oh, hello, mannequins. Bathroom. Nothing terribly interesting there. August 11th, 1984. I'm not, not alone, alone in this, in this house. house. I can feel Marcus watching. He knows about Jeremy. He knows about the baby. Uh -huh. I've never been a religious woman, but I need Christ right now. <laughs> Y'all need Jesus. August 23rd, 1984. Oh, camera's about to die. Woke up yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've got to uh, head to bed here. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get the hell out of my way, mannequins. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, E. There we go. Sleep and charge the camera. So then we get to see what the cameras see in the middle of the night. Can't control them. Oh, some, something about to go down here. Oh. Light flickers. Okay, I guess that was it. Ah, okay. Good morning. Um. Okay. I thought one of those mannequins was on fire for a second there. So there's the bathroom again. Ah, uh, hello? First, let's uh, do the Silent Hill thing. Check the toilet. Is there a light? Yes, there's a light. I'm sure it probably drains the battery faster, though. So, hopefully... Okay, I don't hear the smoke alarm going off, so I don't think the mannequins are doing the uh, human sacrifice in the kitchen. However, they are still all over the house. Can I check my email? Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, State, California, San Francisco, Granite Drive, family name kid, years in house 17, people 5, built during the Prohibition, cellar used as brewery and brothel. Many owners sell the house within a year living there for reasons unknown. Death Sarah Foreman, a sex slave, was murdered in the cellar. Her jaw and tongue had been removed and she was left to die alone bleeding. 
Jeremy Flint was found dead in the bathtub. Evidence indicated suicide. Jennifer Flint was found dead in the kitchen, impaled by exposed pipes. An unnamed infant was found dead in the attic, built in 1910. It's a pretty modern-looking place for being built in 1910. Okay. So, uh, that's kind of messed up. Can I watch TV? No. Oh, there's a... There's a tape. Okay. This thing still work? Alright. Um... Dr. Schroeder, I'm doing those recordings like you told me to do. I have your list here. And, um, huh. I'll just do as many tapes as I have to do for our next appointment. All right, let's take a look. All right. So he was seeing a shrink, really. My name is Mattel Clark. I live in a house by myself. I moved out with my parent, uh, from my parents' place a few years ago. I'm an artist. I live at home. And, um, I didn't use Dr. Spirit. <laughs> um, I had a great dog, a Labrador named Corey. <laughs> and, um, this is so stupid. Oops. Uh, resume, please. Sorry. Uh, resume, please. Thank you. Okay. I had a Labrador named Corey, and on November 12th, I heard him yelping at the bottom of my stairs. I came down, and he was just kind of lying on the on, on, on a hoop. Oh, jeez. I, um, I, I got him to the vet. They said he was fine, they just said he had fallen. Oh, that God. Be okay. For a few days. But he didn't get okay. Oh. Just day in and day out. He stayed at the bottom of the stairs. He just kept staring up them. Oh, shit. Um, shit. Staring at the bottom of the stairs. Is there someone knocking on the door? Nope. Oh, do I really want to do this? Um, shit. Yes, study. Thank you. Oh, God. So the dog knew something. <gasps> Fuck! <sighs> ah! Those mannequins. And Mattel's freaking out. As well he should be. Um, what the hell? Okay, let's go in here. We haven't been in here yet. There's the attic. Okay. We're seeing up here. Up we go. Yes, my flashlight is activated. Thank you. Oh, God. I'm hearing stuff. I'm hearing doors and stuff. It's not good. Um, what is this? Broken glass. Corporation. Okay, I don't see anything unusual up here. Let's go ahead and climb on down. Oh god. Oh, was that uh, another shiny paper there? Yeah, it looks like it. September 11th, 1984. He's toying with me. 
Every time I cry, he makes the house shake. Oh, God. I can't do anything. The door won't open. I'm trapped. September 13th, 1984. Marcus, please forgive me for everything. I had to move on when you died. I had to. Jeremy was just so close and so much like you. Well, yeah, he was your brother. October 2nd, 1984. The baby was born today and had Jeremy's face. Marcus killed it. I'm numb. The baby stopped breathing as I held it in my arms. As I cried, my baby stared me in the eyes. Oh, God. I have those eyes of his roll back into his head, leaving only the white to see. Ugh. My suicide attempts continue to fail. My husband's spirit is torturing me. October 13th, 1984. Let me die. Please, Marcus. Let me die. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Uh, my house is haunted. Thoughts exactly. Okay, bro, at this point, you need to move. Just pack up and... Uh, um. Jesus. Uh... Okay, my batteries are about to die, so uh, I'm gonna just head towards the uh, upstairs. Is that another shiny paper? No, that's an outlet. Okay. Oh, God. I do not like things going glitchy. Shit. Oh, no. No, no, no. Going to sleep. Going to bed. Good night. Screw y'all. Uh, camera should not be moving. Camera is stationary. I think there's another camera down in the kitchen. <laughs> hey. Ho. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, forget this film and everything, dude. Just pack your shit, pack up your artwork. Going to sleep will trigger a new day with new hauntings, as we've already discovered. Okay. Against my better judgment. Play with the Ouija board again. What the shit? Oh, oh god! What the fuck? One, four, five. One, four, five, what? Oh god. Okay, let me out. Let me out, please. Hi, can we open this door, please? Thank you! Okay, I'm going for the safe. Get the hell out of my way, mannequins! Get out! Get out of here! Shorty, get off the table! This is not a good time! <laughs> Sorry, folks! Oh, oh, what the- what the shit? What? What is going on? There is no heaven. Okay. One. Four. Five. Oh, that's it. Okay. This must be the key to the basement. I'll take it. Thank you! Oh god! What the hell? Huh? What the shit? Uh, mannequins? Okay, what? Okay, 
Can I get down here? Holy shit. Hi, can I, can I? Oh, oh god. No, 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 no. Huh. Oh my god. Okay, there's like nothing down here. Oh, there's a shiny paper. December 21st, 1984. I've been mm -hmm. returning to that room in the basement every day One since from the deaths. Head. It makes me feel better, more at peace. December 23rd, 1984. The woman from the hidden room has been following me ever since I uh -huh. saw her. The presence I've been feeling isn't Marcus. It never was. She kills everyone I love. Why? What have I done, God? Oh my god. December 25th, 1984. Christmas is just another reminder that Jesus doesn't give a damn about protecting <laughs> me. Satan's whore killed everyone. Now I that's not very she nice. Stalks me, follows me, haunts me. January 11th, 1985. I have the urge to kill. Is my mind being tainted? Uh, possibly. Is my soul being perverted? Yeah, being possibly. Okay, if anybody reads this, I apologize for anything I've done. Destroy the house. Gas leak. Utility closet. Basement. Stop this evil. Shit! Um. Hi, hi, can you, can you, oh god. Oh, shit. Like, let me go, let me go. Let me go, oh, no, 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 no. Oh god. Hi, please, please, let me go. No, 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 no. Hi, please let me go. Please. Uh. Okay, no, 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 I don't need to read that again. Thank you. I'm I'm being strangled here. Uh. Holy shit. Um okay. Alright. Let me out of here. So yeah, new mission. We're blowing up the house. That's right. No, no, uh uh, lady. Uh uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Kaboom! And that's also it for me, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty well screwed, I think. Okay. Three hours ago we successfully stopped the fire of the house. One set of human remains was found in the basement of yep. the Yep, yep, that would be me. The nature of the fire appears to be gas related. Purely accidental. Oh, yeah, so the totally. The will be investigated thoroughly by our department. The deceased has been identified as Patel Clark. Big surprise there. And cheery news music. Yay. Always a tragedy when something like that happens. On a brighter totally. note, the weather on the coast is set to keep the sun shining. Oh, goody. Means this weekend will be the perfect weekend to go to the beach. <laughs> That's awesome. Yay. Of course we want to go to the beach. Okay. There's all the credits. And yeah, okay. So they have made some changes, made some improvements since the last time I played. Game is shaping up nicely. So we will continue to check back in on Paranormal now and again. Thanks for playing. Without you, Paranormal would not be what it is today. Also, oh, to be continued. There we go. Yeah, there there was uh, talk of other other venues, other locations, originally. So I'm hoping that that's. Hello. Are we done? Yep. There I am. There's there's my little burning mannequin body. Okay, folks, well, thank you for watching, and we will be back with more Outlast next week, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.